Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen or met me yet, my name is Justin Meyer. I run Midwest New Orleans here in Ashland, Missouri. And I wanted to walk through uh, some results that we got from testing uh, superworms in the superworm pupation stations that we built. Uh, so I've got two different uh, trays here. They're both filled with PVC uh, tubing. Um, sections have been glued together, um, basically three columns, three rows, depending on your perspective. And, as, and what that allows us to do is just pull this out real quick. So what we do here is we will put these in. We'll drop a pupa in each one. Uh, improved way for doing that coming soon, hopefully. Um, manually, though, we're dropping one in each one of these tubes. Um, they're separated then, and it allows them to pupate. And then when we're all done, ready, um, as of yesterday, it was two weeks ago, we simply pull these out one at a time, stack them off to the side, and then that gives us access to the, to the supers um, to pull out the pupa, anything dead, um, get the, the uh, supers that are still in larval form and are moving around that aren't just going to go, uh, get them back in the colony, and then we're left with all of our lovely pupa. Uh, so what we tested is uh, two different things. So this is three quarter inch, uh, this is one inch. Uh, so we tested both size as well as um, one tray of three quarter inch, uh, so we had four trays total. Uh, one tray of one quarter or uh, three quarter inch with wheat bran, uh, one tray without, and then same with the one inch. One tray of one inch with wheat bran, one tray without. Uh, we had seen some anecdote, anecdotal, an anecdotal, there we go, got it right. Um, we had seen some of that, uh, I won't attempt it again, um, that the supers that had bran in them seemed to do better. Uh, so we wanted to test that just to see, right, to make sure that it wasn't just us seeing that, it wasn't just an, an odd batch, um, and whether or not we needed to update our process. So two weeks ago, Ben put four trays together, um, fed the supers, then uh, threw them in here uh, one at a time. Um, and then yesterday, Leo went through, pulled everything, uh, and calculated it all up. And what we found is that uh, the smaller tubes, the three quarter inch with no bran, only had a 10% die off. Uh, the larger tubes with no bran had an 8% die off. So not a huge um, uh, difference there. Um, then the, the smaller tubes with bran, so we just went through no bran, the smaller tubes with bran actually had a 24% die-off rate. The large ones with bran uh, had a 12% die-off rate. Um, so we saw more death when bran was added. So what, what I'm thinking is they're eating that wheat bran and staying out of pupation, uh, assuming and hoping that they're going to get some moisture at some point. Um, but they don't, and so they eventually have a much higher uh, die-off rate. Um, which kind of lines up with what we've seen in the past. And I'm trying to think through, you know, what we saw before uh, that would have led us to think that wheat bran would have been better. Might have been just a really good batch for some reason. Um, and, uh, you know, the bran that got in there accidentally um, didn't impact them that much, didn't see a big die off, and for whatever reason they were okay. Uh, the other interesting thing is that from a size perspective, um, the, the difference in die off, um, so the three quarter inch. Uh, with no bran was at 10.5% die off. Uh, the larger one was only at 8%. So not a significant amount more died off and we can get a whole heck of a lot more in here. Over 300 in this tray and only about 215 in this tray. Sorry, no, 388 in this tray, uh, 256 in that tray. So we're getting uh, another 130-ish um, uh, supers per tray. Uh, which, when you're trying to maximize all the space you have in an insect farm, that's super important. And so, with that little bit of a variance in die-off, uh, I'm going to make some more of these trays. Now that we're in the new facility, we've got the space, we're going to start pupating even more. Um, so, we'll have fresh beetles uh, for supers available all the time to replenish the, the stock here, keep the colony growing. Um, and then they'll be available for, for folks who want to grab those as well. Um, but just some really interesting data uh, that we wanted to share. Um, took us a while to get it uh, and we're just throw it out there. So curious what you guys have seen during pupation um, If there's anything you do differently um, or change uh, We're really looking forward to hearing some feedback. Thank you